Wow. It's about a little over three feet long. It was at the end of your small intestine. There is something wrong with that section of bowel. It is really weird. It's bloated. It's kind of a maroon, almost black color. It's necrotic. And when I mean necrotic, I mean dead. You can't survive this. It's dead. It's gross. It's 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 gone. It's necrotic. That bowel has twisted on itself. It has strangled itself. What we call bowel wars. It's like you're twisting a hose and the blood supply then gets kinked and that's not going then to supply blood and oxygen and nutrients to that bowel and it starts to die. And then bowel contents even start to leak out for people with Crohn's. That's a very unusual finding. We just now have to figure out what's causing it. Dr. G is now on a mission to discover how this could possibly happen. Finally, in the abdominal cavity, she makes a discovery that helps her make sense of it all. Now here it is. It's right in there. I clearly know why she died, and the reason it occurred is quite abnormal. Don't worry about this music. I'm doing it to make it look better. 28 year old Rebecca Davis has been living with Crohn's disease for the past eight years. She got diagnosed with Crohn's at the tender age of 20. Hers comes and goes. Uh, she has the bouts where she's having terrible abdominal pain, cramping abdominal pain, uh, fever, bloody diarrhea. She's getting used to that. She was living pretty well with it. But over the years, Crohn's has damaged her bowels, causing minor scar tissue to form. And unfortunately for Rebecca, this scar tissue develops in the worst possible area, acting as a pivotal point on which the rest of the bowel rotates and twists on itself. What she had was scar tissue in the belly, causing it to twist, and it just turned on itself and strangled its blood supply to that portion of the bowel. This bowel probably was cutting off its blood supply over a period of time. It probably didn't happen all at once. This strangulation of the bowel is unusual because usually people with Crohn's have so much scar tissue, it doesn't even have that mobility usually, so it can twist. That's a little frozen in place. I wanted to the thinking about the having a little scar tissue, but not the typical severe case, is what seals your fate. Well, Crohn's probably wasn't all that bad, just bad enough to let it rotate and strangle the bowel. He didn't know that that night the bowels totally cut off the blood supply and starts to die. So she's having a lot of abdominal pain. Tragically, Rebecca only thinks she's coming down with the flu, or at the very least, another flare up of her clothes, and she cancels dinner with her parents. This is a true surgical emergency, but she didn't really know what was going on. And despite the pain, she doesn't seek medical attention. Usually people with chronic pain and a chronic condition, they get very familiar with that condition. I think she didn't recognize that this was a much worse uh, problem for her. As she tries to fall asleep, the dying bowel causes wasting bacteria to leak from the intestines which in turn triggers a massive infection called peritonitis in the abdominal cavity. The bacteria got out of the bowel and got into her abdominal cavity, which is not where they should be. And then the bacteria start decomposing your tissues. That's why she was looking a little more decomposed than I would have expected, because the bacteria had already gotten the upper hand on her with that terrible infection going into her belly. The infection soon enters her bloodstream and rapidly spreads throughout her body. At this point, it's too late. The body's trying to fight that off, and that infection just overwhelmed her. She eventually a little bit of infection dies. rare complication of Crohn's. Uh, most people don't have this complication, but unfortunately it was the perfect storm. If you go to the hospital, 
with the severe pain and they take you to surgery to remove that bowel, well, you have a, a good chance of surviving it. But without any surgery, it's 100% mortality. Unfortunately, she didn't seek help because she thought she was just having another one of her episodes. A few weeks later, the doctor's toxicology results finally arrived, and they're perfectly clean. Dr. G closes the case and calls Rebecca's parents. I think the family was really surprised. They knew it was a debilitating disease, they knew she'd have problems with it down the road, but at least it wasn't a suicide. It was something that was out of her control. And I think they felt a little better for that, and it was a natural death. You know, sometimes I get new cases uh, in our morgue that you're fascinated by because they're, they're so rare. But then you think about just how random life is. Why her? Why did she get it? Some people just don't get out good hands. Sometimes we try our best, but bad things happen to us. Legacy streams free, only on freebie. We have to nail this guy, Harry. Yeah, we do. But we do it my way this time. Roger was cooking up a scheme that had a... Now you can custom build an order. Dollars on the line. 